guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a quick review on a Wet n Wild product, a new one that I just found um, in my local Walgreens. I went in, um, I don't even know what I was going in there for, but I was going in there for something important. I got sidetracked by the new Wet n Wild display. Um, and this is called the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Glow Trio. Looks like this. And there were three different shades of this. Um, the one that I picked up is in Sunset Junction. And I don't know if you guys can recall last year they came out with a product that was kind of similar to this. It was like a bronzer and a blush. And it was like um, the blush looked like a palm tree kind of embedded in the bronzer. Which was practically impossible to get into without totally getting into the bronzer too. Anyways, it's kind of weird. Um, but this one is separated out into three um, distinctly different shades and products which I really really appreciate. Um, and I picked up kind of the lightest one. Um, there, like I said, there were three different colors. One of them I felt like was kind of probably more for darker skin tones. The bronzer was a little bit darker. The highlight was a very dark highlight that I would not, I wouldn't be able to use as a highlighter. I could maybe use kind of as a um, glowy bronzer, um, but it would not be considered a highlight for my skin tone, so that's why I'm thinking that it's probably for darker skin tones. And then it came with like a peachy pink blush that was kind of dark. Um, and then the medium tone one had a, bl or a bronzer that was very similar to this color, if not the exact same. The highlight was a little bit, um, I want to say more of a white highlight versus this is more of a peachy highlight. And then the blush in that one was a very, very bright kind of um, pink pink with maybe purple undertones. So this was very much the neutral kind of middle of the road um, one. So that's why I picked it up. They do run $3.99, so super affordable. Um, but I just thought to kind of try it out, I wanted to go with something that was pretty neutral. Um, so I have this on today, actually. And I just took the bronzer on a big fluffy brush and tapped off the excess and just blushed or bronzed my face up in my usual places. Um, then I went in with my blush brush and took a little bit of a dot or two of the blush and then blushed my cheeks with that. And then I also went into the highlight with my e.l.f. tapered brush and um, just dusted that on the high points of my cheeks. So that's how I'm wearing that today. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty pigmented. It does, you know, kick up a little bit of dust, but not too much. Um, it's very pigmented. It blended it well with my skin. Um, I really have no complaints on this. Um, the one thing that I could see some people not liking about this little palette is that the bronzer is very, very warm. So let me swatch that for you. Um, it looks like this here on my finger, on my hand. Um, this is it here. And it is kind of a more orange toned bronzer. Um, so that may not work with all skin types. For my skin tone, it works okay. Um, I don't really have any complaints about that, but that is the bronzer there. Um, and then this is the blush. It's just a very pretty kind of mid-tone peachy pink color. Very, very pretty. Um, super neutral. You can wear that with anything. And then the highlight is a super pretty kind of um, peachy highlight. So that is the three there, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. And I'll try to let that focus as well. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with this. I think that for $3.99, this is definitely something that I can put into my travel bag and have all that I need in one little compact. Um, I'm not going to be upset if it gets broken. It's super inexpensive, so easy to replace. Um, the one thing I will say is these are limited editions, so if you are looking to pick one of these suckas up, I would do that quickly um, because I'm sure that they're going to really fly off the shelves with the price and the product. The quality is pretty good, especially for the price, so I would highly, highly suggest them. In fact, um, I may go back and pick up the uh, other lighter shade one. I say lighter shade, but for lighter skin tones. I almost want to pick up the other one as well that's for darker skin tones just to kind of play with it a little bit, um, but I probably will hold off on that. But overall, I really think that these are awesome, and I wanted to bring them to you guys and let you know that they are out there waiting for you to grab them up. <laughs> so yeah, if you found this review useful, helpful, um, whatever, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, um, and yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Please have a wonderful, fabulous, blessed day, and we will see you soon. Bye.